going on Dev Squad? Welcome back to another video. My name is Mbx Z and in this video we are recording another Kieran's Crazy World tutorial. Well, I am recording. In the last video we did some updates around the world and I have a little update around the toy shop here. And that is this path. In the video we left this as a three block long. We actually left a couple of these paths as three blocks long. Uh, these all need to be two. Two blocks wide. Three blocks long. Two blocks wide for all of these paths. So just going to kind of give you an overview of this. You just want to make sure every path around here is two blocks wide and then that will be up to date. Okay, uh, you may also see some other updates we didn't do in the last video. I have separate update videos that have been recorded and are ready to be uploaded. So yeah, okay. And also I'm on a new tutorial world and I'm not caught up to my tutorials just yet. So that's why stuff like the toy shop aren't done. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're building the bread ba ba bread bakery. There we go. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to this path to the right of the igloo and we're going to count into the 12th and 13th block of grass. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Make a 2x2 two two path. Then right behind this path, make a little temporary 2x2 two two square of any blocks of your choosing and put hay bales around it like so. Next thing we're gonna do is to the left, we're gonna put six spruce planks. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're then gonna step down one and put another spruce plank in the floor. There's gonna be birch fences on top of this. You can also get rid of this uh, little two by two square in the doorway there. And then we're gonna mimic that onto this side over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Step down one, put a birch fence, and then we should be three blocks away from this path here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to build this up a total of five blocks tall in the corners. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to bring that across, bring it up in the corner again, like so. Birch fences again come all the way up, like so. And now we can get started on these windows. So, to the left and right of the door, we're just going to bring spruce planks going all the way up, like so. With then white stained glass panes on top of the hay bales. And then on the left and right side, we're just going to put hay bales in like this, with then glass panes in between. White stained glass pane again. I'm going to do the same over here. These all want to be facing the... Uh, same direction they want to be facing up and then the white stained glass pane and then a torch goes here and here okay there we go so now we're going to move on to the left hand side here and what we're going to do is we're going to make this a total of 18 blocks long uh, so we're going to put like a block right next to this birch fence here and we're going to go 18 blocks in that direction. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Just going to double check that though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then we're going to step down one and put a 19th block in the floor with birch fences on top. Again, we're going to make that a total of five blocks tall, connect it across to the corners, like so. And now let's get started with these, with the actual wall itself. So here we have a window, so we're going to put three hay bales again. We're then going to leave a gap of three, then put another three hay bales. Glass panes in between those. If I can place that last one, there we go. Then we have two columns of spruce planks. <clears throat> we then have three hay bales, spruce planks on top, and then hay bales on top of that. A column of spruce planks, three hay bales, a column of spruce planks, three hay bales, spruce planks, and then hay bales. So this is what this wall looks like with then a torch right here. And all right, a torch. In, on the corner blocks and then above this column of uh, hay bales here and then just after this window ends right here 
So if I step back and let you guys copy that. Okay, again, birch fences go all the way up here, like so. And then let's do the back of the building. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to connect it up, or we're going to make it the same length as the front. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then one down in the floor, three blocks away from the path, with a birch fence on top there. We're going to make it five blocks high in the corners, connected across. And then we've got more hay bales. So, uh, right on this right hand side over here, we've got three hay bales, spruce planks on top, and then hay bales again, a column of spruce, a column of hay bales, column of spruce, two hay bales, spruce on top, hay bales on top of that, a column of spruce. A column of hay bales, a column of spruce, three hay bales with spruce planks, and then hay bales again on top. Torches are going to go right here and here, like so. And then we've got one more side, and it's going to mimic that side over there. So I'm going to cut this out of the video, and I'm going to mimic what's over there. So I'll be back in just a few. Five, bring it across, bring the spruce planks up, Hold on. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> okay, I'm back, and I've just mimicked that side onto this side. Okay, so now we can move back around to the front, and we've got a little window here. Okay, so let's start with this uh, roof. So we're going to do the windows, and then we're going to move on to the roof. I just recorded a little clip of me actually building the roof, and I realized I made a mistake, so I'm starting again. I apologize for that. That's why there was a little cut in the video then. Okay, so what we're going to do... Is we're going to start on this left hand and right hand side and we're going to double up this wall going out one over the fence we are then going to um let me see here add an extra three onto the right like this so it's a total of four we're then going to go in one and have another four we're then going to go in one again and have a four two three four we're then going to go in one and have uh let me see am i doing this right hold on where am i here see this is why i like doing the roof first i'm getting myself confused again let's do the roof let's not worry about this window just yet so we're going to leave what we've done here we're going to keep this doubled up and then we're going to put a row of stairs in front coming out one on each side We're then going to put an upside down stair with an, another row of stairs on top, like this. We're going to do another upside down stair, and this time it's going to have a row of slabs on top. Do the same here with the upside down stair. I then need a temporary block down below us, because we need to place some stairs behind these slabs like this. We're then going to put an upside down stair and then we're going to have let me see here slabs on top of those going all the way across upside down stair there 
We're then going to have another row of stairs behind the slabs. If I could get them to place, here we go. Like so, an upside down stair, a row of stairs on top. If I could get them to place again, here we go. An upside down stair down here, and then one here. And then this one's going to have slabs on top again. With then uh, an upside down stair here. And then another row of stairs behind the slabs like this. There we go. And then we're going to have an upside down stair with slabs on top. We're then going to have another row of slabs, with then another upside down stair like this. We're going to do the same on the front here. And then we're going to start stepping down to the right, mimicking what we did on this side over here. So let's start over here, put a block of spruce planks on top of the fences, and then just bring it across. Stairs in front, bringing it out one on each side. An upside down stair, stairs on top, the upside down stair again, upside down stair again with slabs on top, upside down stair, and I'm going to need something temporary underneath, just to make it easier to put the stairs on top of. Go, and then I can destroy that row of spruce. We're then going to have an upside down stair with slabs on top. A regular set of stairs behind. An upside down stair, and then let me just check over here again, what was it? So we had two stairs, a slab, stair, slab, stair, stair, so two, another row of stairs up here. Let's put the upside down one there. Upside down stair with slabs. And then stairs like this. Right, okay, there we go. So that is the roof done. And did I have that? Uh, did I place it? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Did I? Oh, no, it was on this side I didn't, wasn't it? Do a, there we go. Right. Just need that upside down stair. Now let's do these windows. Now that we've got the roof, it shouldn't confuse me as much. So, if we come to the front here, the front of the building, we're going to put an extra free spruce plank spruce planks here we're then going to have a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten white stained glass panes in between one two three four five six seven eight nine ten leaving us space to put an extra three spruce planks we're then going to come up and we're going to do four spruce planks up here on both sides. So we're kind of placing it next to the second upside down birch stair here. Like so. We're going to put glass panes in between those. And then we're going to have, uh, let me see here, four spruce planks again here on both sides. I was about to do the glass panes, but then I thought I'd do both sides here. And that's going to have three, no, four glass panes in between them. We're going to come up one more time, and then we're going to have three spruce planks here on both sides. And then that's going to have two glass panes in between. And then this top row here is just simply spruce plank, spruce planks all the way across with then an extra 
two up in there. Okay, so that is what the window looks like. And that was much easier to explain than it was before I had the roof. So there's a couple more torches that need to be added, and those are going to go right here and here. Like so. And now we need to mimic this window onto the back of the building. So I'm going to cut ahead in the video until I've got this. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Spruce planks all the way across. There we go. Okay, I am back, and I've just mimicked the window onto the back here, like so, and I just forgot to do the torches, which go there and there. Okay, so now that we have that, we can move on to the inside. Apart from the fact there is a door and a couple of signs, or a couple of signs, there's a couple of doors and a sign. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, we also have a, if I can get them in here, we need something underneath of it. Just gonna grab some dirt. There we go. There's hay bales underneath these doors, and these doors are um, birch, and so is the sign. And then this, I actually had to check a little something from Kieran quickly because he gave me an update for the sign. So let me just, uh, let me check to see if I can find it. Yeah, okay, so the writing on this sign wants to be black. Originally it was yellow, but it's now been changed to black. And that was something I had to, I had to check. And now I have to reload the realm quickly, <laughs> so I can see what the sign actually says. So I'm going to speed up the video a little bit, and it's now 3 o'clock apparently, so... Okay, so this sign says, Hey, there, bread bakery. Like so. Okay, so copy that, and now we can move on to the inside here. So let's start with, uh, there's a back wall in here, and that goes, uh, let me see here, uh, do I do the back wall yet, or do I save that, hmm, let's save the back wall, let's do that in a few minutes, let's do the floor in here, so the floor is a pattern of both upright and, uh, well first of all we need to break out this entire floor. So I'm going to cut ahead, and I will be back once this has all been destroyed. So I use the fill command. Oh no, because I don't have the coordinates on in the realm. Never mind. I've made things so much easier though. Let's see if I can. Slash fill. Oh, why isn't it giving me the coordinates? Okay, no, never mind. It's not actually showing the coordinates on... in chat. I'm gonna need to put something underneath all this floor. Go away!
Okay, I am back, and I have add, destroyed all the grass, and added a layer of dirt underneath of us, just because we need something to put these hay bales on top of. So as I was saying before, the floor in here is a mixture of both sideways and upright hay bales. So, underneath the door, we have up, upright hay bales. Then this next row is going to be sideways. And then the next row is going to, or the next three rows are going to be upright. And I forgot you can't just go all the way across like you can with the sideways one. Okay. And then this next row is going to be sideways. If I could get it in there like this. And this one I did wrong over here, so there we go. Then the next two rows are going to be upright. A bit slower to do these upright ones, which is a pain. I remember on console edition though, you could actually get these... You could go a lot faster when doing those. Uh, but then we have a sideways row. And then we have three more uprights. And then we have a sideways. And then we have... Uh, one row of upright and then we have a sideways and then we have three rows of upright okay so i'm sorry for having to cut there uh i had to take a little break from recording for a bit but um I'm back now, so I'm going to go over this floor again for you guys, just to make sure there's no confusion with it. So if we come inside, underneath the doors we have uh, two upright hay bales. Then we come in a row, we have sideways facing hay bales. Three rows of upright facing hay bales. A row of sideways facing hay bales. Then two more rows of upright facing hay bales. A sideways facing... Hay bale row. Uh, three rows of the upright facing hay bales. Another row of the um, sideways facing hay bales. One row of the upright facing hay bales. One row of the sideways facing hay bales. Three rows of the upright facing hay, hay bales. And then one row of the sideways facing hay bales. Okay. So once you've got that, we can now come back out here. And uh, let's start on the interior of this room. So we are going to grab some new materials here. We're going to need spruce planks. We're going to need spruce stairs. Uh, we're going to need some spruce trap doors. And I think we're going to need some spruce slabs as well. Yes, we are. Okay, so spruce stairs, spruce slabs. If I can find the slabs. Here we go. Uh, we need spruce trap doors. To here, okay, and then spruce. I uh, will need some item frames, some bread, torches, and then I oh, and some ladders as well. And then I think that should be good for this. Uh, no, well, we'll also need a chest. I'm seeing a chest, some ladders. We will need some birch doors and some more hay bales, but we'll come to that when we do the wall. So, chest and then ladders, okay. So if we face the doors, and we go to this left hand side here, we're going to put a, let me see, an upside down stair, right in the corner there. We're then going to add on one, two, three, four slabs in front of it. One, two, three, four, and then an upside down stair. We're going to have an item frame here and here, with bread inside of it, and we want to face that bread to the left like that. We're now going to have a chair one block away from the bread. And they are going to have spruce trap doors on the sides of them as the armrests.
Okay. Uh, we're going to mimic that same thing over on this side. So we're going to put an upside down stair, four slabs, an upside down stair, the bread that goes right in front of the hay bales, place them towards the left, and then we've got the uh, seats. Oh, that's a slab, not a stair. <laughs> there we go. And then we have the trap doors on the side. Like so. Okay, and then if we turn and we face the right here, we're going to come where we have this last row of the window, and we're going to go into the second hay bale on the floor, place a spruce plank, put an item frame with a piece of bread facing to the left like this. Okay, and then we want a seat one block away from it with trapdoors on the side again like so and then we're going to mimic that same thing on the other side again so we're going to go into the second hay bale we're going to put the bread we're going to face that to the left so we're going to face it towards the back of the room this time so this one over here faces towards the front of the room this one faces towards the back okay we're then going to do the seat with the trap doors on the side, like so. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come into this next row of sideways uh, hay bales here, where we are going to put a spruce plank, a spruce plank right here, and that's going to be a total of three blocks tall. We're then going to go to the top half of this first block down here and put three half slabs with another three block tall column of oak, uh, spruce planks and then yet again three more half slabs at the top half of this block up here on these two rows of hay bales we're going to put item frames with bread in and these want to be facing the back of the room again like so and then there's going to be a torch right here with the ladders here and here okay we're then going to mimic this exact same cabinet here on the other side again so one two three oops oops i do apologize for background noise put three half slabs here bring this up three three half slabs here the item frames like so and then the ladders the torch on the side of it here and then this time the bread faces towards the front of the room so if we place that in you can kind of see how now the little pattern on the bread is closer to the back of the building whereas on this side it's closer to the front of the building so we're going to do that on all six of these item frames like so and that is the um, this side of the room done, apart from some torches, but I'll come back for those in a minute. Also, while I'm here, we have some glowstone I want to add in, so let me grab that. And glowstone is basically going to... We're going to have some glowstone, and we're also going to have upside-down birchwood stairs. So let me get started with this. So if we face the doors, you can start on either the left or right side, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the right. We're going to put a row of glowstone all the way along here with upside down birch stairs in front of it. We're then going to have a row of glowstone, upside down birch stairs, another row of upside down birch stairs, glowstone, birch stairs. And then this next row is yet again birch with stairs. And then we're just going to mimic that on the other side over here. So we've got the glowstone, birchwood stairs, glowstone, birchwood stairs, birchwood stairs, glowstone, birchwood stairs, and then birchwood stairs. Okay. Oh, I just wanted to get that thrown in there before I forgot about it. So that is the roof of the inside done, or the ceiling on the inside done. Okay, so now let's head back down and let's do this back wall over here which is going to have one of these windows on it again. So for this we're going to grab some spruce planks, 
some hay bales and some birch doors. And this is going to start uh, right to the right of these cabinets here. And we're going to have a column of spruce planks that goes all the way to the top here. We're going to bring this bottom row all the way across. And then again bring it up to the ceiling like so. So currently it looks like this. Okay, so now let's go to the left hand side here where we're going to have three hay bales here. A column of spruce, a hay bale, spruce, a double door, birch doors. Column of spruce, hay bale, column of spruce, three hay bales. Up here we're going to have uh, four spruce planks like this, a hay bale, and then a column of spruce, or four spruce planks going across the door here. Hay bale, and then spruce plank, spruce planks going all the way along here. Then on this next layer we're going to have three hay bales, spruce plank, hay bale, spruce plank, spruce planks going above the door again. Actually no, never mind. Spruce plank, two hay bale, spruce plank, hay bale, and then spruce, spruce plank, and then three hay bales. Getting myself confused here. I apologize for that. This next row up here is going to be entirely spruce planks. And then this next row up here, this is where the window is going to start. So we want three spruce planks on both sides here and here. And then we're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten white stained glass pane in between. So let me just count this out quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're just going to go up one. And then we actually need to break out this birch stair here. We want to go out onto the glass one. Same over here. Like this. So if I kind of step back, you can copy that. We're then going to go up again, break out that birch stair. And then we're going to come out an extra, let me see here, two to the right, like so. We're going to do the same over here, two to the left. This is going to have glass panes. I didn't do that before, did I? There we go. So that's going to have glass panes. Then we've got four glass panes up here. And then once all is said and done, we're basically just mimicking the window on the front and the back of the building. So we should just have two single blocks up there. So again, if we come over here, and let me see where I am quickly. We're going to break out this birch stair here, and we're going to put three spruce planks going across here. And then again, the same over here. And then this uh, top row here is all spruce planks. Breaking out the stairs again, with then two spruce planks up here in the ceiling, like so. So let me step back and you guys can copy that. And now we can do the torches in here. So torches on this back wall are going to go right here and here. On the side wall, on the side walls, they're going to go, let me see, here, here, and then here. So uh, copy that. On the front wall, they're going to go here and here. And then again, here, here and here okay here we go uh, all we now have to do in here is the little counter which goes uh, right onto this back wall here so let me see here we want to leave two blocks empty on both sides of the door so one two and then we're going to put three spruce planks coming forward like this go to the right one diagonally forward one diagonally again Put an extra three to the right of that, so it makes a total of four. Back one diagonal, and then back one diagonal for three, like this. Uh, there's going to be item frames with bread in them again. I always forget that bread is an equipment. And then there's also going to be a couple chests and a couple torches. So item frames are going to go on the front two corners here. And they're going to have bread in them, which face... Uh, like this there's going to be torches then on these single diagonal blocks here and then a chest here and here okay so that is this uh front room done here this is the main room in here 
So I'm going to pan over all this quickly and let you guys copy it. Just in case my instructions weren't clear, you guys can then copy down this little view I give you. So now let's head to the behind the till part, this, this little back room here. Now this is very simple, there's not much in here, there's a few things but let's get started with this. So we're going to start on the back walls, that's like the most, that's where most of it is. So we're going to grab a crafting table, we're going to grab a barrel. We're going to grab a chest. We're going to grab upside oh upside down. We're going to gra grab grab spruce wood stairs. We're going to grab spruce wood planks. If I can find the planks, here they are. Spruce planks. We're going to grab item frames with bread. We're going to grab torches, and that should be good for this back wall. So, uh, for this back wall, we're going to come to the left and right of these hay bales, and we're going to put an upside down spruce wood stair, like that. Spruce slabs in between. We're then going to go into the second slab and put an item frame on both sides. And, actually no, ignore my instructions there, that was wrong. If we... If we're on the right hand side over here, we're going to go into the second plank, or the second slab. And then over here, we're going to go into the first slab. Uh, these are both going to have bread in them, which face like this. There you go. There's going to be a chest right here. And then there's going to be crafting tables on both sides of the stairs. With a barrel on top that faces up like this. I just want to verify that's right. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we're going to do the same over here. We're going to put the barrel on top. And do you need to... Hold on. No, you don't. Okay. I wasn't sure if this little grey part looked like it was facing a different direction in the realm. But it's not. It's fine. Okay, so now we've got that, we're going to turn around, we're going to do this front wall over here. And this is very simple, it's just three barrels on both sides. So we want to leave a column of spruce on both sides of the door. And then we're just going to have three barrels that face up like this. On both sides, over, like so. Okay, so go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to grab, uh, let me see here, furnaces and smokers. And torches again, because I didn't do the torches. Uh, so furnaces, and then smokers, and torches. And I think that should be it. Uh, let me just check over all this. Yeah, okay, so on these two walls, uh, there and there, we're just simply going to have furnaces and smokers. So furnaces are going to go in the corners, like this on both sides and then there's going to be smokers to the left and right of those okay all that's left to do now is a couple of torch or there's a few torches around so if we face this wall with the doors there's torches above these hay bales if we go over here there's torches in the corners on the back wall again there's torches above the hay bales and then over here again in the corners Okay, so that is the, uh, yeah, that's the inside, that's the interior of the bread bakery done. All that we need to do now is come outside, and I've already done the sign, apparently. Okay, that's even better. Oh, and there's a skeleton in here on the realm. <laughs> and thank you, Kieran, for turning coordinates on, that's going to help out a lot. So I think that is everything for this video. Yeah, okay, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.